Welcome to Whiskey Bandit Reviews. I'm Eric. I'm Josh. And today we have the Goose Island Bourbon County Biscotti Stout. Um, can a whiskey drinker enjoy that? We're going to find out. Let's drink on that. All right, Josh, we got a pint of the Goose Island Bourbon, Cow Bourbon County brand Biscotti Stout. This not really our kind of thing that we're into a whole lot. Um, we did the barley wine, um, had good impressions of that, but there's no way we could finish it. I don't foresee us finishing this, but could should be interesting. Yeah, I'm still excited to try it. You know, I just, I'm always interested to kind of see how Flavor profiles vary from one thing to the next, and especially if you involve any sort of bourbon barrel process on whatever it may be. So, you yeah. know, it's not, like you said, it's not necessarily our realm of expertise by any means, but... Not at all. Uh, <laughs> and um, you can let us know in the comments if we're drinking it uh, too cold or, or not cold enough, or if we don't really know anything about uh, beers or ales or stouts, because we don't. Josh more so than I has uh, kind of explored the whole beer world, but uh, I think this is even out of your realm of things. <laughs> yeah, so. stouts aren't normally what I go yeah. for when I go for beer. I'm, I'm more of a, you know, I like the fruited sours, I like IPAs, stuff like that a lot, but stouts are... Yeah, uh, they're... Right, right off I'm a little worried about this, um, but... <laughs> I, I noticed that too. <laughs> uh, it, it has on the back back here that it's got notes of black licorice um, so that's a little intimidating right off right off the bat but yeah. you know the other notes that on here pretty pleasant you know buttered toffee cocoa so you know let's let's just okay. see what we can get out of it yeah those are things we'll be looking for um, yeah the, the licorice definitely um, not something <laughs> that I want to be paired with bourbon really um now goose island where are they from they are from chicago Sh if i'm not mistaken yeah chicago illinois um and it's my understanding just through kind of a quick uh search that for these bourbon aged um ales and stouts and whatnot that they do they team up with jim beam and use some jim beam barrels so um it, we'll see about that yeah. um you've seen our jim beam videos i'm sure uh, if not, so, it didn't score well. <laughs> it did not score well. Um, so, we'll see. Um, I'm a little scared. But we'll give this a go. Oh, my. That is as black as coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I expected it to be dark, but that poured much darker than I that thought it was going to. That is a very dark liquid. I can go ahead and tell you I'm probably not going to drink all of this. But, here at the Whiskey Bandit Reviews, we will not be turned away from anything that has the name bourbon in it. Um, we got some Yip Cider uh, Snifters here from a good buddy up in Canada sent us these down. So these, these are probably my coolest glasses I have, really. I do really like the bottle of this. It's, it's probably not translating very well mm -hmm. onto camera there but you know it's completely imprinted with the logo you know the bourbon county information and stuff on here you know it's got that kind of raised texture to it yeah instead of just like the normal generic label that goes all the way around um like i said i'm sure i'm sure you can't really see that it's very dark anyway you can't really make it out very well even here in person so but yeah. it does look cool. And this is the 2022 version. I know they put a few of these out every year. I picked this one up at Liquor Barn or Total Wine 1. I think they have it listed at $25, so not a cheap drink. You get you a whole bottle of a lot of stuff for $25. Bucks. So we'll see how it goes. Right off. 
the nose the first thing I get is kind of if you if you've ever been to a distillery or a um, a brewery and you do a tour and you get to like the ferment where they the fermenter where they kind of ferment it this is kind of what it smells like once you're standing above those big barrels of uh, uh, the grains and stuff they have fermenting I get kind of that note off of it I'm getting like cherry uh, like dark chocolate dark chocolate is exactly what I was about to say and since it is biscotti that would be kind of a, what like a baked cookie a Italian little cookie that they use with they pair it with coffee that kind of flavor is what they were aiming for and I think on the smell they probably got it right off it kind of smells like some kind of it does Baked kind of cookie. If you were, you know, walking down the street, happen to walk past a bakery of some sort, you know, somebody near you open the door and that kind of whiff come out. You know, it does kind of have that kind of generalized like baked good scent. It's nothing yeah. in in particular really. Yeah, yeah, kind of like a some sort of I don't know, cookies or whatever it may be, candy that's being baked. It's got that kind of rich smell to it, but very chocolatey, and it looks like chocolate. <laughs> um, and what they said, cocoa, uh, on the back of it is kind of a note that you'll get. I'm ready to try it if you are. Yeah, uh, I'm a little nervous, but let's go ahead and get in <laughs> yeah. here. Okay. Much more pleasant than I anticipated. Yes, it's not as repulsive as I thought it was going to be. Just was... from having <laughs> any stout that I've ever had has been just so strong and kind of maybe even bitter. Yeah, that uh, it definitely doesn't seem to have that like harsh bitterness to it, like you were mentioning. Um, you know, it is still obviously very dark. So you know, there there definitely is a, you know a little bit of that bitterness there, but it's definitely not nearly as harsh as I was expecting. You know, I did kind of pick up initially those notes of cocoa. Mm -hmm. I think that was probably the first thing that I was able to pick up off of that. The first thing for me is right off the tip of the tongue. It's very sweet, and it's kind of like just a pop. Like, um, it, maybe it's like carbonation, like that kind of thing that you would get out of a soda. Um, but very sweet at the tip of the tongue as soon as you taste it. Um, mm -hmm. And it's kind of like that. It's kind of like chocolate milk, but a little sweeter, like the sweetest chocolate milk you've ever had. Yeah, I can I can see that. You know, I'm I gotta be honest with you. This is actually pretty good. This is pretty good. Um, just because of how kind of heavy and dark it is, I don't think I could drink the whole thing. But this is definitely something that I enjoyed more than I thought I would. Absolutely, and I could definitely see, like you said, that you're not gonna drink a lot of this. It's it's dark. It's heavy. Um, flavor profiles, though, are pretty good. I could definitely see this being like paired with a nice dinner. Um, you know, something just kind of sip on. Mm -hmm. But as far as you know, if you were <laughs> trying to have a good night, uh, yeah, <laughs> may maybe this isn't the one. But I'm really impressed just by how enjoyable the flavors are of it because. I, I thought I was going to be repelled by this, but um, it, it's good. Uh, you definitely get, like, we keep coming back to it, but that really kind of cocoa chocolatey taste, yeah. which you would kind of, and, and I guess it really does reflect that um, biscotti that they were going for there, because it, it's got like that cookie um, chocolatey it's like a cookie covered in chocolate that's by him like crumbled up and poured into this. Yeah. Um, yeah, it definitely does. Uh, one thing I want to touch on since it has, it says on here notes of black licorice. Do you pick that up at all? No, I don't either. I don't know if we're just kind of blind to that kind of part of the flavor profile or not. Um, but luckily for me, cause I mean, I'm not the, obviously, not a huge fan of black licorice, so uh, mm. that that probably would repel me a little bit more. But I don't pick that up. It's very chocolatey. Yeah. 
I think some of the other ones kind of note that they taste like black licorice, but so does this one, but it, it doesn't. Not even a little bit. It tastes like a chocolate cookie. Yeah. Um, exactly what they were aiming for. Yeah, I mean, you take some kind of just kind of basic cookie, biscuit, like some sort of scone type thing or whatever if you've got some like chocolate drizzled on it something like that uh maybe some chocolate filling in it whatever but i mean i hate to keep coming back to chocolate like you said but that's just <laughs> what is. sticks out to i mean me. and it looks like it yeah uh so i'm not big on coffee you are um so when i taste this i don't like coffee unless it tastes like something else yeah so <laughs> this kind of tastes like a coffee that i would drink um and iced so do you get kind of like a little bit of that bitter coffee-ish kind of taste i don't know if you do but yeah. i do because i don't drink much coffee I, I definitely get a little like i mentioned earlier it's not as bitter definitely not as harshly bitter as yeah. i was expecting there is still that bitterness there I, I do like pick up a little bit of the coffee in it mm -hmm. um but you know, I'm pulled much more in the sweetness direction yeah. of this than than anything else. Um, any of the bitterness that's in this drink is, you know, short lived. Like it doesn't just kind of sit on your tongue and mm -hmm. start to kind of taste weird. Anything like that, like it's just it's sweet to me. Very yeah. sweet. You get that very sweet off the front, and then it kind of settles into kind of that stout that you would expect, and then it just kind of goes away and leaves you with an aftertaste of kind of like that fresh baked good, like mm -hmm. like you just ate a fresh baked cookie or biscotti. Um, so I think they nailed what they were going for on this. Yeah, I do too. Overall impressions, I like it. Um, not going to drink a lot of it. Probably won't buy another one for a while, but I'm glad I got it and got to try it. Yeah, me too, for sure. It's definitely, especially if you like stuff in that kind of wheelhouse flavor-wise, I would definitely recommend picking one of these up and trying it. Um, and with us being a whiskey channel, um, do you pick up any bourbon in that? I, I'm not picking up a whole lot. Um, I don't know if I'm just missing it because of the sweetness. I don't get bourbon off the nose or the taste. Maybe if you were to say that some of the typical kind of vanilla sweetness of a, a bourbon is part of this, but I'm not sure that that's what it is. I think it's whatever they're doing to kind of get that that cookie taste that they're going for. Mm. So as far as it being a bourbon barrel age, maybe that's just for the alcohol volume, which we've got 14% on this. Yeah, 14%. So, yeah, if you drank that whole thing, you'd probably be feeling pretty good. Yeah. The whole pint. <laughs> Your belly would not feel great, that's for sure. Um, no. it, it would, it would, that much of this would sit Sticky. very heavy on your stomach. But. We don't have a lot of these so far scored, um, so we'll get to that. We only have one so far. It was the, the Bigfoot. Um, and that we got at an 8.15. So for a score on this, it's difficult because I don't know what like a 9 would be in this, what a, what, what an 8 is, what a 7 is. So I guess we're establishing that. Yeah. Um, you know, that's kind of what I tried to do when we scored that uh, barley wine last time. It's just kind of based on the other bourbon barrel stuff that I've had in the past. But I agree, it is definitely hard to put a score on something when you're not entirely sure what, exactly <laughs> what the scale is yeah. going to be. So, so. <laughs> with that being said, I'm going to rate this a 7.8. <laughs> I'm laughing because I was going to say 7.8, so... <laughs> Alright, there we are, we should have wrote it down. Um, so, we're sitting at a solid 7.8 for this. Um, definitely something that you should try if you have the opportunity to. I don't know if I'd pay $25 to try it again, but that's just kind of how much these things run. So keep that in mind. Um, it is good if this is your avenue of things that you like. This is definitely one you need to try. But coming from a whiskey drinker, I'm glad I've tried it. Yeah, me too. Uh, you know, it's, it is really good. It's very pleasant um you know surprisingly pleasant so like you said 
if you can afford it, pick one up, try it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Mm-hmm. Um, it is a little expensive for what it is, but at the same time, I mean, I've not really had too many other drinks even similar to that. So No, just stuff on kind of the lower end, like we've mentioned before, the Kentucky Ale, where you get four of them for like 15, 20 bucks, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, so, and this is definitely better than that. Yeah. Um, but those are a little easier to drink than this. So there we have it, the Goose Island Bourbon County Biscotti. <laughs> It's a 7.8. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. He said biscotti. 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 Remember, you got to do both T's, man. Biscotti. Biscotti. Chicago. He's from a Chicago. He's Chicago. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs>